What's up everybody, Jose once again from PetRockMedia.com. We are back with a new video. And in today's video, we are going to talk about one of the best companion lenses you can buy for your Olympus system, specifically today, the Olympus Pen F. And that is the 40 to 150 millimeter F4 to 5.6 lens that I believe is the best travel lens money can buy retailing for $199. Let's talk about it. everybody welcome back to the channel thank each and every one of you for stopping on by and shout out to the 2717 subscribers that we currently have supporting this channel i cannot say thank you enough to each and every one of you and if you're new here and enjoy this type of content hit that subscribe button punch that bell icon so you become part of the pet rock media family and be notified each and every time we post content to the channel whether it be live videos such as this or post to the community tab so about a week or so ago, we did a video on this channel regarding this particular little body cap lens from Olympus. Relatively inexpensive, retails for about $50, $60 right now used on eBay or other type of used markets. And one of the lenses that I brought up during that video was this bad boy right here. This is the Olympus, again, 40 to 150 millimeter F4 to 5.6. Now, in my opinion, this lens provides an incredible focal range for general photography, travel photography, um, trying to capture events just of the day, taking a day trip with the family, wanting to capture, you know, the kiddos. Maybe let's say you're going to the zoo and you need a little bit more focal range. This lens right here, retailing for $200, in my opinion, is one of the best lenses you can buy first if you decide to purchase an Olympus camera. Specifically today, we're talking about, again, the Olympus pen. Um, primarily made of plastic, actually most of it, if not all of it, I think is made out of plastic. Even this little silver ring here is a plastic ring. It's just colored silver. Um, there's the front lens part right there. Again, it is a four to 5.6. And again, you can see right there, it is an F4 to 5.6. Again, all plastic, very little, if any metal is on this lens, which is one of the reasons why it is valued at $199 and is so cheap. But do not let the fact that this lens is all plastic fool you. You know, there's many times we see lenses like on the Canons, we see the Nifty 50s, on Nikons, we see the same thing. Fujis, we see some of the same things with some of their cheaper XC lenses. This is no different, but some of the images you can get out of this camera are pretty amazing. Um, as you can start seeing here, the focal range, in my opinion, is amazing when you're wanting to zoom in and capture a tight, tight shot. The bokeh you can get, even at 5.6, in my opinion, is still pretty creamy, still pretty nice, blurs the background nicely, which is why earlier I brought up going to the zoo because it's one of those things where you can get kind of a wide shot at that 40, which is equating to an 80 millimeter, but then really get in to that 300 millimeter equivalent, which is what this lens provides. And again, it's 40 to 150, which equals 80 to 300 on your Olympus systems. The color accuracy, in my opinion, is pretty nice considering, again, talking $200 for an all-in-purpose lens. Um, sharpness is not too bad. Definitely going to be looking into increase that way they're utilizing, you know, Lightroom, Photoshop, Capture One, whatever you're going to be utilizing for this uh, for these images off this camera. You know, you're going to want to increase the sharpness a little bit. But other than that, in my opinion, if you're not too focused on the bokeh, if you're not too focused on just blurring out and obliterating that background, this is an incredible lens for you to pick up for your Olympus pen system. Weight is incredible. I mean, I don't know the exact numbers. I'm going to leave them up here. But I mean, considering it is majority plastic, I'm going to say it's about a third or even a fourth of the weight of the Olympus pen, which makes it almost feel as if there's no lens. Considering the size, though, it feels like there's almost no lens on your camera when you have it, which is a good thing, especially if you're going to be utilizing it for travel. Having a lens this small and this light is definitely something worth keeping in your camera bag because it's not going to weigh you down, so to speak. Uh, size, if I'm doing it from my hands like this, it's relatively small. Um, of course, obviously, versus the pancake lens, it's, you know, that gives you an idea of what the pancake lens is about. But it's still relatively small. At coming in, I'm going to say at about three and a half to four inches, relatively lightweight, as I mentioned. And just an all around great lens to buy if you're looking to have just that one lens with you when you take your Olympus pen out to capture pictures of, like I said, your family, of the day's events, things like that. Great, great, great lens to buy. 
as I said, since it is an F4 on the widest uh, 40 millimeter, you're not going to be utilizing this really at night unless you're going to have one of the more uh, professional Olympus bodies that can take better low light images and cranking up that ISO to about 1600, 3200. Then you might be able to use this lens. I don't recommend going past 1600 on the Olympus pen. My personal opinion, I'm, I mean, again, if it's going to risk you not getting the shot, then definitely bump up your ISO because I'm from the camp of I'd rather have a grainy shot, but still have the shot then just completely bypass the picture itself. But again, when you look at what it looks like on the Olympus Pen F system, I mean, it's not very big. It it's does obviously stick out longer than the body cap lens, but overall, aesthetically, it does look nice. It's very, very lightweight, as I mentioned, to keep with you in just a very small camera bag. And again, if you are looking to maybe get a little bit wider, then that's where the body cap lens can come in. Being 15 millimeters, which equates to 30, being F8, again, you're not gonna get obliterated background bokeh, but again, it will allow you to capture that image all in focus at that F8. No autofocus, no anything. It's basically got the two uh, focus points, the infinite, and then a little bit more of a macro style. So again, I'm gonna leave that video up in the corners as well if you want to take a look at the video we did on the body cap and in my opinion the combination of that body cap lens with the 40 to 150 millimeter lens is a pretty unbeatable combination in my opinion for everyday photographic use um, we'll be doing some future videos on adapting some canon fd glass to the olympus pen f so again if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button so that way you can be updated on when we post future videos with the canon pen f and other lenses we're going to adapt to specifically vintage lenses that wraps up this video, everybody. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about one of my all-time favorite lenses for the Olympus Pen F for general photography, travel, and whatnot. Almost the one lens to roll them all, so to speak, when it comes to general photography and not so much super professional portrait work and, and event work, weddings, things like that. But again, my personal opinions are what I've stated here today regarding this lens. What do you feel about this lens? Leave them down in the comments below. Again, shout out to all 2,717 subscribers to this channel. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to hit that subscribe button and supporting the channel. I'll catch each and every one of you beautiful human beings in the next video. Peace.